So you want to get to champ, but you just don't know how. Your teammates keep throwing, and you just can't seem to make the final push. Well, since you clicked on this video, you're in luck, because I have the three most simple tips you need to know to rank out of diamond and get into champ. Hey, what's up guys? Calvin here. Now, champ is in the top 10% of all players in Rocket League, but there's an even more exclusive club that only 5% of people currently watching this video are in. People subscribe to my channel! Like and subscribe right now to be a part of the cool 5%. Now, let's get into the tips. In Diamond, you should not be looking to rely on your teammates at all. Don't push up the field on offense with your teammate thinking they're gonna pass the ball. In this rank, you have to always expect your teammates to give the ball away, even if they might not. Diamond players aren't really all that consistent, so playing more selfishly minded allows you to carry yourself out of diamond. Now, how do you be selfish in game? This does not mean to take the ball away from your teammate. Rather, you should let your teammate do whatever he wants with the ball, but leave him on his own to do it. This way, you will reduce the chance of you getting scored on by overcommitting, and you will lose much less games. Now, when you have the ball, don't look to pass to your teammate. Try to score on a solo play, because most of the time, your teammates won't be reliable to score. Basically, what I'm trying to say is diamond players are inconsistent, so play around that. Knowing that diamond players are inconsistent, there are many options you can take when learning and adopting this new mindset. You have to be smart enough to realize when there are solo play opportunities in the first place, and take your chances where you can get them. A huge aspect of scoring in Diamond is simply capitalizing off your opponent's mistakes, and selfish play allows you to better find these mistakes. Now, in order to play selfish in the first place, you have to be comfortable enough to play with only yourself. Um, <laughs> let me rephrase that. You have to have some skills in your arsenal to be able to score on your own. Three of the best solo mechanics to learn in Diamond are basic flicks, power shots, and fakes. These three mechanics alone can carry you to champ. Now, training selfish play can be easily done with a couple steps. First, you can warm up by going into these training packs and focus on being able to dribble, flick, and shoot effectively. Next, you want to head into 1v1. Whoa, whoa, look, I know 1v1 suck, but in order to play with your- Uh, in order to learn solo mechanics, you have to learn to play without a teammate with you at all. Using this training regimen will help you become a much more well-rounded player, and adopting this mindset will allow you to carry yourself out of diamond. I remember in my olden days of playing in the diamond rank, I was a boost demon. I would completely disregard the small boost pads and go for the 100 boost pads every chance I got. This formed a terrible habit that took me two seasons to break, but I'm here now to teach you to stop doing this so you don't have to waste as many hours as I did. Boost management is one of the most overlooked aspects of Rocket League gameplay, even though so many Rocket League creators preach it. It doesn't really seem like it would have that much impact on the game, but it's actually a main reason why you're in Diamond right now. Having correct boost pathing and boost management allows you to be in the perfect position for any play, and actually gives you more consistent boost amounts throughout the game. Having boost management allows you to almost never run out of boost, so you can stop using that I had no boost excuse. Now, to learn boost pathing, you need to learn the three key paths you can take to get as much boost as possible from pads when rotating across the field. There are the vertical pass, the diagonal pass, and the hook path. The vertical paths are best used when rotating up and down the field. This pass thing is usually reserved for the first man, or the player pressuring the ball, as it is the most aggressive path up and down the field. Using this path allows you to be able to boost all the way down the field while not deviating from your line of target, making it essential to use in your gameplay. The diagonal path is usually reserved for the second man, or the person trailing behind. This path is best used for shadow defense to be goal side while covering all angles, or when supporting the first man on the attack. Finally, the hook path is used for last man, or the player in net. This path is best when you are low boost and trying to defend your net. Finally, let's talk about boost starving. Now, this is a pretty advanced tactic and not really recommended for most diamond players to begin doing. 
However, you can use some tactics from Boost Starving right now to capitalize off your opponent's lack of boost. Since most diamonds aren't using effective boost management, they will find themselves without boost numerous times throughout the game. Now you, having effective boost management, can notice when your opponent seems to be running low on boost and you can play off of this. You can either further starve them by ticking their boost or put a high powerful shot right past them to score an easy goal. Look, simple play trumps all other forms of play. You can be the most mechanical diamond player out there, but at the end of the day, you're still diamond. Going for really low percentage shots like flip resets, air dribbles, and ceiling shots just isn't gonna help you as much as consistent, powerful aerials and shots. Let's talk about the hours to wins ratio. A very simple concept, but so many players disregard this and waste hundreds of hours practicing the wrong things. Let's say I could either practice flip resets or flicks to try and rank out of diamond. Sure, flip resets may be more flashy and clip worthy, but it'll take you 10 times the hours to use this mechanic effectively to rank up. It's much more time efficient to practice flicks instead. Getting consistent with flip resets and air dribbles take hundreds if not thousands of hours, and on top of that, most of the time you'll end up missing and getting scored on anyways. I propose to you a much easier and quicker solution, which is to stay grounded most of the game and focus on accurate shots. Flicks, power shots, and simple aerials have the best hours to wins ratio, as it takes the least amount of hours to get very consistent with these mechanics, and they have an insane output of wins once you can get them down. These mechanics are essential to help you rank up, because you'll be able to skyrocket your rank simply by playing smarter than everyone else. Going for basic flicks and power shots reduce the chances of you overcommitting and relying on your teammate, which we already determined to be a really bad idea because diamond teammates suck. These shots are also much more likely to go in than fancy mechanics such as air dribbles and flip resets. Now, playing simple for many diamond players requires them to completely rethink how they play. A lot of players assume they need to out mechanic the other team, when it's just not necessary for their rank. To play simple, you need to realize three things. Overcommitting is the easiest way to get scored on. Your opponents will make mistakes, and you need to minimize your own mistakes. Bruh. Playing simple reduces the risk of you making mistakes and overcommitting, which allows you to better read your opponent's mistakes and easily capitalize off of them. In many situations in the diamond rank, it's better to wait and let the other team play to you, rather than you hard pressuring them in their half. That way, you let them make mistakes for you, and you can easily catch them out of position and score. Look, I know diamond is hard, trust me, I was stuck in diamond for 3 seasons, but these tips are the best and most simple things that help me make the final push to champ. If I could do it, you can too. Thank you so much for watching, love y'all.